Optifine, known by many as the go-to client for optimizing Minecraft. Well, what if I told you not only there's a better way to do it, but it can over five times your FPS? Well, it's called Iris, and it's an add-on for sodium, which is just freaking incredible, man. It lets you do so many cool things, including toggling shaders. And personally, mine look kind of false or sponsor right now. But anyways, let me tell you a bit more about it. Iris is pretty much just a better, more optimized version of Optifine, if we're speaking in flat terms. But instead of it being a client, it is a fabric mod. Which pretty much just allows you to mix a bunch of mods with it and not have to worry about downloading an Optifabric and all those tutorials and how to do all that stuff. And it also allows for some great combinations when it comes to adding mods. Because currently, I have it downloaded and obviously that's how my shaders look so fancy right now. But I also have multiple other mods downloaded with it. And they all mix perfectly. And very, very sweetly, I must say. And as I said at the beginning, it's also a much better than Optifine. So we real quick jump out of the camera and hop over to my character. Oh, so what do you think of this lovely cool little base I've been doing? If we click K real quick, you can see my shaders were instantly uh, instantly toggled off. And now we can walk around our lovely world as we please. As I said, as you can see, I have multiple other mods. I have the roughly enough items downloaded. I have multiple other things, including obviously sodium because it just looks better. And as I was saying about the FPS, if we real quick hop up here to our lovely nether room, we look out the window here, we can actually click F3. Yeah, again, this is better F3, another awesome mod. If we're looking outside this window, you can see our FPS is at 290 right now. As because currently I do have it capped, I believe. Yep, here it is. It is currently at 260 or quote unquote unlimited, but it's not really that unlimited. But there is definitely ways to maximize this. Because if we real quick run all the way downstairs in this awesome base I've made. And yes, this is where I'm going to be doing multiple videos from now on. And it doesn't have a button. Well, breaking it down it is. If we go outside real quick and we just look up into the air where it's just completely blue. You can see the FPS starts to go up and up and up to over 400 FPS. And guys, I don't have anything crazy or anything. If you look at my top right. I've literally got some pretty basic stuff. Like, my my graphics card is literally a 1060, rough. And if you know what that means, you should know it's not the greatest thing in the world. But it's not the worst either. But yeah, 300 and almost 400. How mad is that? And then if we toggle the shaders again, obviously, the FS is going to drop so big. Because, obviously, shaders making everything look nice and all that. So it drops to about 60. But this is how much Minecraft normally is. But so you do not understand how nice it is to just go to this smooth. Yeah, I forgot what I was going to say there. Smooth 160, baby. And also, if you want some recommendations for things you can use with this, I'm currently using, I believe it is, yeah, Complementary Reimagined, which is just freaking awesome, man. It's like one of the best shader packs I've ever found because it uses vanilla lighting. It just makes your worlds look gorgeous, bro. Absolutely gorgeous. Anyways, we want to head back down into the studio real quick and set up the tripod again. And boom, we're back in the studio now, looking nice and snazzy as always. No, but if you want recommendations, I definitely recommend the complimentary reimagined because it just makes your game look absolutely stunning. And if you want some mods to go with it, then I will chuck that down in the description below onto a Google Drive. You can just download all the mods I'm using right now. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Thanks all for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you want some more informative content like this one. But thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Peace out. Bye, guys.